What's up guys, it's Markin. Today's vid, I want to know what games do you play just for fun when you just want to relax and don't care about the competitiveness? So as you can see, I got something a little different for you. If you're new to the channel, new word to the channel, um, this is the first time you've seen Skate. I posted it up a couple months ago, but uh, never really posted any more of it, which I don't understand. I guess I just don't record when I play. But uh, I play this game fairly often, and it's really my go-to game when I just want to relax. You know, if I'm not into the competitive side of things and I'm not looking to go full bore in this or that then skates really really the game that just helps me chill out you know if I want a game and I'm looking for something to game but you know I'm not stuck up in a, in a campaign or a story that I'm looking to and I just don't want to play multiplayer and I just kinda wanna relax skate is skates that game for me and I've played all the skates from the beginning and they have improved on all of them all of them, every single game keeps getting better and better, in my opinion. But in terms of a, a simulation, you know, skateboarding game, this it's awesome. There's uh it's very simple simple to, to pick up but hard to master type deal. And in this game I'm playing with my buddy uh Ring Leader. He's been in a couple other videos of mine as well. And this is him right here. We end up getting just steamrolled at the beginning of this game. And we try and mount to come back at the end. But, uh, yeah, we did fairly well our first round. <laughs> I'll let you guys, uh, you know, see that as the video progresses. But back on just the, the relaxing games, I mean, there are so many games that are out right now with campaigns that are just excellent. I mean, right now, I'm playing through Assassin's Creed 3, and I've had the game just sitting next to my Xbox for months and months, and I just never played it. Multiplayer, single player, nothing. I just never had that desire to play it. So I finally picked it up last weekend, and I've played every night for like the past four nights, I believe. And I'm at the very, very end right now. And it's, uh, it's a good game. I, I'm liking the story. I really like it. It's all, if you don't know, the Revolutionary War and and the, the Redcoats and the British invading and etc etc and uh, as you know I'm from Boston and it takes place 90% in Boston so that's a nice little added bonus for me but that's another one of those games where I just relax and enjoy it I don't need to worry about getting from point A to point B in a particular time you know there's obviously some some pretty high tense scenes in the game but I can just relax and if I die it's you know it's like whatever I'll just respawn it's not affecting my team I'm not winning any medals check out this lag by the way that just killed me just destroyed my run <laughs> I got basically zero points but games like this that are just easy for me to just veg out on you know they have Tomb Raider just came out I did not buy it I'm gonna get it soon I, I'm really looking forward to that game and that's another one I where just campaign itself, Ringleader's really carrying us by the way, thanks, thanks Ringleader, but it's just one of those games where you can focus on the story and not get worked up in all this, uh, the competitive aspect of everything, there's such a big difference from, you know, you're going playing online, games like Battlefield, Call of Duty, we'll, we'll use Call of Duty as an example, that game is always just full bore all the time, you go on and even if you're just going on to just screw around and have a good time with your buddies, Everybody else in the lobby is, look at the lag, look at the lag destroying this game. Everyone else in the lobby is just always trying their hardest. There are just so many, so many tryhards, and I just don't get it. This is uh, my last run. It's pretty much our, our last chance to, to make something happen. And I end up uh, getting a decent amount of points here. Mm. So I got, what, 2,300 points, so Ringleader needs to get like 200 points in order for us to take the lead. <laughs> but you have, in, in Call of Duty, you have everybody that's just full board at you, so even if you're trying to relax, 
and you know just trying to fool around with your friends and have a good time you have everybody else that's just not in that state of mind so it's the single player games the relaxing games like skate that really let me just chill out so i want to know what those games are for you and uh what games i should pick up and try out but i know this is kind of like a rambling calm i'm sorry for that but thank you for watching guys and as always stay active all right thanks for watching till the end of the video guys on the left here you have my last Battlefield video, talking about how I love close games instead of blowouts. And on the right, talk about why objective game types will make you a better overall player than, say, just uh, Free For All or a TDM. And as always, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and click my name at the bottom. It'll sub you right up. Thanks, guys.